Hey guys and gals, it's me George and I'm out here in the garage and I've got a project, oh project. My son, my younger son owns and it is in need of having the power booster replaced for the brakes and it is back in there down underneath the cowl behind the master cylinder. You can see the tank for the master cylinder. And uh, so this video is going to be about replacing that. Now hold on to your hats because here we well, go. The first thing you have to do is you have to remove the wiper blades and all of the plastic cowl pieces that go down in here, which you can see are sitting up there on the roof of the car. And that is so you can remove this piece right here. That has four bolts on each side. Plus it has one bolt here in the middle, which is a support for this wiper transmission. And this has to come up out of here. The windshield washer has a clip on it. It has to be removed as well. So that's the next step. I have the uh, master cylinders unbolted, but i got to get down in there to pry it off of the power booster. Okay. Now I have the master cylinder disconnected and you notice that it has flex lines on here so we can just kind of pull this up out of the way and uh, we don't have to disconnect the brake lines thankfully. Um, the next thing is to disconnect the vacuum hose which is right here. Maybe I can just grab it. There we go, and that just pops out of there like that. And it appears to me that to get this booster up out of here, I'm probably going to have to re uh, remove these wiper arms as well. Let's connect this bolt here, and another one over here, and another one right up behind it, and just remove that whole assembly right out of there, motor and all. Now here we are up under the dash. You can see right on the end of that shaft right there with the bellows on it, there's a clip. And that's got to come off so that the rod will come off of the brake pedal. And then you get four bolts that come undone and the brake booster should come right off. Okay, with everything disconnected, now we're at the point where we're going to actually try and uh, Remove the power booster. And as we see, we get wires and all kinds of junk in the way here. It's got to come forward about an inch and a half because those screws are pretty long. Now, let's see if this will come up out of there. That's going to be a problem, I think. Stopping my booster from coming forward. There we go. So we can get it up out of here. Ah, it's coming, it's a little bit short. Swing it around a little bit. Wiggle wobble, and there it is, all the way out. Now for the fun project, I'm putting the other one back in. And there we are, all back together. I didn't show you the whole process, but if you figured out how to get it apart, you sure know how to get it back together. I would say probably the most difficult part is uh, removing the windshield wipers and that cross piece across there. There's a little bit of fussing around underneath there, but other than that, it wasn't real bad. And it was nice to have help from my sons putting it all back together. So, till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix It Man, and his son Chad, and his son Chris, saying thanks.